Before we embark on this journey into the Docker world, you need to get your computer ready with Docker. So to get started, go to the docker.com site and then click on Get Started. And that will guide you through the steps to get your computer ready. So uh, the first step would be to install Docker Desktop on your computer. If you happen to have a Mac or a Windows machine uh, with specific configuration, then you can download the Docker Desktop for your machine. If you uh, happen to have a Linux machine, then make sure to follow the instructions on the site to install Docker on your machine. I'll show you the uh, link to uh, the specific instructions for Linux uh, in a short while. Now, for a um, machine that meets the Docker desktop requirements, this is the best approach for getting Docker onto your computer. We'll look at the specific steps of uh, installing Docker Desktop for Mac or Windows in a short while. Then uh, you need to go to the Docker Hub site and then sign up for an account on the Docker Hub site uh, so that you will be able to uh, store your Docker related um, images on Docker Hub and then share it with others. Now, what do those images mean? We'll come to that in one of the later videos. And if you uh, have a machine that cannot meet the Docker desktop requirements, your other alternative would be to either install Docker Toolbox, which installs Docker with a set of tools on your machine. I'll show you the link to that in a, in a short while. Or you can use a cloud-based Docker environment called Play with Docker. Uh, this provides you with a Docker environment that you can access through a browser and carry out several of the steps that we will illustrate through the various exercises that follow in this series of videos. Now, ideally, you would want to have Docker installed on your computer so that you have full flexibility of using Docker on your machine. As I mentioned earlier, Docker Desktop is the best way to get the Docker environment onto your computer. If you have a Mac, then a Docker Desktop is the easiest way to get started. So um, here uh, I show you the documentation about Docker Desktop. So when you install Docker Desktop on your computer, you get the Docker Engine, Docker Compose, Notary, Kubernetes, and Credentials Helper installed on your machine. Um, now we will look at how we make use of these uh, as we go along uh, later on in the uh, videos that follow in this series. To install Docker Desktop on the Mac, you can look up the series of steps given in this location um, shown here. To install Docker Desktop on a Windows machine, go to this site and you will see that Docker Desktop works only on Windows with specific um, system requirements. If your machine meets these system requirements, then go ahead and install Docker Desktop on your machine to make use of it. If not, then I will show you an alternative mechanism to get uh, what is called as Docker Toolbox onto your machine. If your Windows machine doesn't meet the requirements for Docker Desktop, then the alternative mechanism is to use Docker Toolbox. So go ahead and uh, read about the instructions for installing Docker Toolbox at this location. In particular, to install Docker Toolbox on Windows, we can um, see the specific instructions at this site. If you are using Linux, then go to this site to obtain the specific instructions on installing Docker on your specific Linux distribution. 
Once you have installed either Docker Desktop or Docker Toolbox on your computer, then go to hub.docker.com to sign up for Docker Hub account here. If you are unable to install Docker on your computer, then uh, the alternative is to use the Docker environment available at playwithdocker.com. So go ahead and go to playwithdocker.com and then you can get started by logging into the Docker Playground. And this gives you a browser-based environment for you to use Docker and uh, learn about Docker. So go ahead and create a Docker instance here, and that will give you access to a Docker environment running Alpine Linux that is accessible through a browser. Now, as we go through the exercises, I will also try to illustrate the use of Play with Docker uh, to run some of the exercises.